Okay, so now we have the basics of uh, Pokemon of Matrix um, Matrix naming and uh, entries. Uh, if we want to talk about adding or subtracting, uh, all we basically do is do the corresponding um, corresponding uh, entries. So if I want to do the Matrix A, whoa, where's my back page? Okay, if I want to do the matrix A plus the matrix B, uh, all I do is I take A, I, J, and add it to B, I, J for all values of I and J. So we're just going to add the corresponding things. It's uh, easier just to do it than it is to probably describe it with algebra, but uh, I'm just going to add the corresponding things. So I have the matrix 1, 2, 5, minus 1, 3, 6. That's a 2 by 3 matrix. And I want to add the other 2 by 3 matrix. That's weird why that line showed up like that. Um, but uh, I want to add this other 2 by 3 matrix. Um, we can just add the corresponding uh, pieces in there. So I'm going to add the 2 plus the 3 gives me a 4. The 2 plus the negative 2 adds to 0. 5 plus 4 is 9. Uh, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, 3 plus negative 2 is positive 1, and 6 plus 9 is 15. Um, and so we just, for each individual component, we just add them together. And with subtraction, you do the same thing. Here I've got a 3 rows, 2 columns, and a 3 rows, 2 columns, and I'm going to add them together. Uh, just do term by term, uh, column by column, entry by entry. So I'm going to take 1 and then subtract the 3. 1 minus 3 gives us negative 2. Uh, 0 take away 2 is also negative 2. 3 take away negative 1 is also negative 2. <laughs> I wonder if they're all that way. Nope, they're not all that way. Uh, 3 minus 4 is a negative 1. Uh, and then 2 minus 6 becomes negative 2 minus 6 is negative 8. And then 1 minus 2 would put us at negative 1 there. So just entry by entry, very straightforward. Um, probably what you do to combine things, that's sort of a natural sort of response there. In there is just to, to add where you need to add, subtract where you need to subtract. All right. Uh, and then if you want to multiply a constant, if I have a matrix and I want to multiply it by a constant, if I want to do 3 times the matrix, uh, 1 uh, 3, 2, negative 4, 0, 7. It's a, again a 3 by 2 matrix. Um, all you do is, well what we can think of that is um, that there's that old idea that uh, multiplication um, is really sort of repeated addition. And so, um, you know, if I have 3 times 4, I can think of that as a 4 plus a 4 plus a 4. It's 4 it's three fours added together. And you can see that do the same thing here with matrices. It's this same matrix added with itself three times. So it's uh, that same matrix added with itself. Boy, my uh, annotating pin here is being kind of weird and adding in some extra lines all of a sudden where I don't want them. Go back to the pen here. Uh, that's a negative 4 there. That's a negative 4. 0, 7 plus 1, 3, 2, negative 4, 0, 7. Uh, and then you can add um, 1 plus 1 plus 1 gives us 3. Or the shortcut is just to multiply. 3 times 1 is 3. But then you're going to get 3 plus 3 plus 3, which is 9. Or 3 times 3, which is 9. So kind of the shortcut is you just multiply that 3 times everything inside that parenthesis. Uh, everything inside that matrix. So sort of a distribute, but it gets distributed to everything. Not, the top, not just the top row or the bottom row. It gets multiplied by everything in there. So 3 times that matrix means I'm going to multiply every single entry in there by the matrix uh, 3. 
Um, and then we can also combine those, so you can combine a, a multiplication and an addition sort of thing. Um, just follow the order of our operations. Again, we do the multiplication before we do subtraction. Uh, so if I've got 2 times this 2 by 2 matrix minus 3 times a different 2 by 2 matrix, I'm going to do the multiplication first. So 4, 0, 2, negative 6. Uh, and then you can either run the negative through or you can leave it as a subtraction, um, however you want to do it. Um, I'm just going to leave it as a subtraction, I guess. So 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 2 is 6. And then finally do the subtraction. 4 take away 3 gives you 1, 0 take away 12 gives you negative 12. 2 take away 0 stays 2, negative 6 minus 6 is a negative 12. You just got to be careful there with the negative signs. Um, sometimes it's easier to, to subtract or to add a negative than it is to subtract. You've got that old thing. Um, so you can either distribute the negative through or with the multiplication or you can hold it out and then do the subtraction. So you could have changed it to an addition and, and run the negative sign through as well uh, as an alternative way. Um, if you, if you, if adding, especially if there's a lot of negatives, it might be easier to add that way um, than it is to subtract. Uh, to remember to switch the sign when you need to switch the sign. Uh, sometimes it's easier to distribute that negative sign through. But, you know, whatever works for you um, is whatever way is more comfortable with doing those subtractions um, is the way to do it. Uh, in there. So we'll still get the same answer. 2 plus 0 is 2. Negative 6 plus negative 6 is negative 12. We get the same answer whether you distribute the negative through and change it from subtracting uh, negative 3 to adding 3 times, adding a negative 3 instead of subtracting 3. So either way you come up with the same answer. So uh, pretty straightforward um, in terms of adding and subtracting matrices should be fairly easy. I think it makes sense to me. Um, when you try to multiply two matrices together, which is tomorrow's lesson and the next lesson sequence, it gets a little more complicated and that's going to take a little more practice. Um, so um, we'll look at some examples of that uh, in our next lesson sequence.